Welcome back. For this uh, third part of the I Can Design tutorial, we're going to have a look at uh, measuring hydraulic oil temperature and showing that on the uh, display uh, with some uh, symbols from the image library. And we're also going to show a temperature warning lamp and we'll use this example to introduce uh, the object list. To read the temperature sensor, we'll need another voltage uh, input. So let's add this in here and we give it a name hydraulic oil temperature and uh, let's select device type uh, we have the temperature sensor icon st here so that saves us from having to fill in these properties for the calibration and we also drop this onto the xa2 module so we know where to read this uh, signal from so uh, the next step is then to go to the display page here on the user interface and we want to show the values so let's bring in this value control here we select the input channel uh, from our voltage input we have the hydraulic oil temperature here and we can decide to show uh, not just the value but the value and unit uh, of the channel it makes sense to indicate what this value means by uh, using a symbol so let's go to images here and select a symbol from the image library and uh, if i go to more images here i will be able to see some uh, iso symbols so let's find the correct symbol for indicating hydraulic oil temperature and we add this as an image and we uh, drag it in here so now we have an indicator of our uh, hydraulic oil uh, temperature i'd also like to uh, have a warning lamp if this gets too high so uh, i can also show another way of adding images is with uh, image groups so i right click here add an image group press f2 to re rename it and we call this lamps and i right click here and i'm still going to use the image library and the iso symbol uh, so we select uh, hydraulic temperature i think this one should be red to indicate a uh, error here and uh, we add this in here and now when i go back to my main page here i can go to lamps and select uh, this uh, symbol here as a lamp indicator and put it here uh, what i will need to do before i uh, use it is to select an input channel for it to control the lamp we need a new channel so let's go back to the md4 application here and under calculation here we find idc internal digital uh, channel and let's name this uh, uh, hydraulic oil uh, temp high so uh, this will be true when the hydraulic oil temperature is uh, above our limits so uh, here i have it selected uh, to be using the method object list here so uh, to add the logic i can right click in here i can add a math function i can select an operator uh, relational larger than and uh, here my operand one is the uh, hydraulic oil temperature and operand 2 we can put this at maybe 70 degree uh, celsius that is so now we can go back to our main page here we can connect it to the input channel here and now we're ready to simulate this first part so we start the simulation here and we get the choice to use the last used uh, auto saved simulation so let's select that and it starts up in uh, i can simulate here and we see we have a error here hydraulic oil uh, temperature and it's uh, 
Uh, it was because it started out at zero millivolts, so that's uh, in the uh, range for electrical uh, faults. So uh, we can test this uh, condition here. The lamp is uh, coming on and off, but we should probably extend this condition with something uh, more to also show this warning in case of uh, this electrical fault. So we stop the simulation and we try that in Icon Design. So the idea with the uh, object list is that it's a list of conditions that are combined uh, with a uh, method. So we have another condition here for this error, and that is that the status of the input is uh, in low error. So we can right click here and add math. And we select the operator here to be status uh, equals. We select our uh, voltage input uh, channel and we select uh, which status type. I know this is an error so I select it from the list of errors here. And uh, if we just uh, copy paste this and we also uh, select the high error as uh, one of the errors uh, that will give this uh, warning. and. These uh, three conditions are now combined with this object group method, the OR method, and uh, uh, that's uh, exactly what we want. So uh, we can uh, try that once again in the simulator. So to have a look at this in the simulation, I'll, uh, I'd like to add this uh, to the simulation group again to make it a little bit easier to see it, and we start our simulation from uh, I can design and uh, now we have this uh, uh, slider here that we can uh, create uh, defaults uh, giving it putting it to zero millivolts and let's have a look at uh, I can design here uh, in the background uh, you see the object list here says status low error true and then the result of our internal digital channel becomes uh, true if I take this slider uh, up to 70 degree uh, Celsius, you can switch to scale value here, you see that uh, it's instead the oil temperature above 70 that uh, makes uh, this condition true. And if I continue with the slider up to uh, the uh, limit for the electrical fault, then uh, we see the high error and that also shows up in the object uh, list here. So that's uh, a quick introduction to how the object list works in Icon Assign. And for the next tutorial, let's uh, have a look at uh, the alternative programming method called uh, Q-Code.